minutes or so and has in effect been taken over by its lenders. Debenhams has 166 stores which will initially continue to trade, although about 50 branches had already been earmarked for closure in the future. The department store rejected last-ditch rescue offers from Mike Ashley's Sports Direct, which has been locked in an acrimonious battle for control. Let's get more on this now with our business presenter, Ben Thompson. So Ben, you were explaining a, a little earlier when you confirmed news that Debenhams had gone into administration that this is a, a pre-pack administration, which effectively allows the, the store, the business, to keep um, trading. Tell us more about that. Yeah, it's a slightly strange mechanism um, that a firm can fall into administration and then is suddenly bought again. Uh, what we know is that it fell into administration and it's already been bought essentially by its lenders, the people to whom are uh, it owes money and also that it's borrowed money. Um, they bought it for £101.8 million and they've also taken on all of the debt that goes with it. So essentially what this means is that Debenham should, and it is a big should, be able to operate as normal. It just will continue. Uh, customers can still shop there. Staff should still turn up for work. Stores will remain open. And this allows the firm to sort of reset, get itself back up and running uh, by shedding some of its debts. Um, what they want to do is close 50 stores. As you said, they've announced that earlier this year. That plan is still on track. Uh, and they'll also renegotiate with landlords about some of the rent that they pay on some of their stores that are on some prime high street locations that cost quite a lot of money. And I think they'll go to those landlords now and say, look, we want to keep them open. We want to keep paying your rent, but you might have to cut how much you charge us. Uh, so those negotiations will now begin in earnest. Um, it's interesting, though, given what we've heard from Mark Ashley, as you'll know, he's the boss of Sports Direct. He also bought House of Fraser out of administration last year. He was keen to offer £200 million to pump money into Debenhams to try and give it a lifeline. But there was a big condition on that, and that was installing him as the yeah. boss, as 